Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to talk about past, present, and future tense verbs. Now, a verb is an action word or a being word. We're gonna focus on action verbs for right now, an action word, okay? So, action verbs or verbs in general can show us time. It can tell us when something happened, okay? So we look at the verb and we say, okay, is it in the past tense, meaning it already happened, okay? We're gonna do the action as already happened, okay? So past already happened. Present is right now or always happens. Future is has not happened yet, okay? So we're gonna do it like this, past, present, future. Past, present, future, okay? So the past tense, let's focus on the past tense. We're gonna practice um, verbs that follow a pattern. In the past tense, we can recognize it because they usually, 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 but not all the time, add ed to the end of the verb. For example, today I play, Yesterday I played, played. It changes the spelling of the word by adding an ed. So instead of P-L-A-Y, it becomes P-L-A-Y-E-D. Played, I played. Right now I play, or every day I play. I am playing, we're not gonna talk about ing yet. We're talking about every day we do something. Every day I brush my hair, every day I eat my food. These are present tense verbs. These are something that I do every day, right? Play, plays, he plays, but I play, right? I'll teach you that later. But if it has an S or nothing added to the end, must be present tense. If it has an ED to the end, it must be past. Now, the last tense that we're gonna talk about is a future tense verb. Remember, future, the little squiggle lines to the front, okay? Future has not happened yet. So in order to show that, we add one word to the front of a verb and it is will. It can, it can ascend, an, sorry, an example could be, I will play later, or he will eat his food later, or just he will eat his food, or I will brush my teeth, or I will comb my hair, or I will wash my face. These are all things that we're gonna do later. Not right now, but at some point in the future. So verbs can tell us when an action takes place. Past tense verbs tell us about events or actions that have already happened. Past tense verbs often end in ed. Present tense, ver present tense verbs tell us about events or actions that are happening right now. Future tense verbs tell us about events or actions that have not happened yet. Future tense verbs often start with the word will. Now, today's work is going to be to complete this activity, and you're going to fix the word, fill in the blank with the correct word. You may not use all of the words. You don't have to use all of the words, okay? Just remember that. Do not do the back yet. Do the back tomorrow, okay? The back is this one. You're gonna do this tomorrow, okay? All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. So much love and many kisses.